Hey everybody, Roland Martin here. You know, over the years I've been asked a lot of times, what's the strongest knot in the whole world? Well, hey, I've been tying this particular knot for 30 years. It's a saltwater knot, but I use it in fresh water. I use it for light lines. I use it for all sorts of things. It's called the Bimini Twist. It's the strongest knot in the world and the knot will not break the line will break. Let me just show you. I just got this right here. You know, I came in third in a great big tournament out west one time because I was fishing Lake Mead and I was fishing a four and six pound line on little bitty uh, jigs like this. Now, here's the problem. There were cactus trees and all sorts of brush in the water and everybody was breaking the fish off. So I use this bimini twist like I see here. As you see, that's a double line. It's twisted. And it's a double line. And it comes up to a knot right there. It was a knot. And that is the bimini twist. And then the single line goes on from here. Now, if you tie it properly and you pull real hard, remember if this were six pound line, this would be 12 pound line. And that, if it gets wrapped in the bush, you know, a two pound bass might not break 12 pound line. Okay. So let me, I'm just going to experiment. I'm going to put this in the vise. Watch this. I'm going to tighten, tighten this vise up. I'm going to tighten the vise up right here. And I'm going to see if it breaks at the knot. I'm going to tighten it real tight. I don't want that flying back. I'm going to take this line. It's, it's not been, it's all brand new. This is brand new 14 pound line. And I'm going to wrap it around my body. I'm going to wrap it around my body. And I'm going to pull it real hard until it breaks. Oh, it broke. Okay, now here's the deal. Look at that line. The line didn't break at the knot. The knot didn't break. The line broke up, what, four inches up from the line. Look at that. Four inches higher than the knot. The knot didn't break. That's the thing. It's 100% knot. And I'm going to show you how to tie it. It's a great, great application for not only salt water, but fresh water as well because now you can use light line and a small little bimini twist and double your line strength what a good leader combination wow let me just show you how to do it well folks i just showed you that this 14 pound test line broke <laughs> not at the knot but at the line itself well i'd like to show you that knot but this is such a thin line you'd not be able to see how i'm tying it so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this real big heavy duty braid that I have for saltwater fishing and I'm going to tie the knot, the bimini, it's going to be a big ex exaggerated size. This is a 130 pound test braid, but you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So let me, let me just do this. So the first step I do with any line, say, say this is a six pound line, but in this case it's a 130 pound test line. I'm going to take about two or three feet of it and just kind of double it like this. You see, now I'll just double it. I got, I got it doubled right here, okay? And I come down about, about a foot and a half or two feet and just kind of hold it. And I take this finger and I twist it now 21 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, now I'm going to take that loop that I have right here and I'll put it over my foot. Just put my foot up here, my shoe, and I put that loop over my shoe, shoe like this. Now I take this tag end that we have right here and I pull it down tight. And I pull it down tight. Pull it down tight till it's a nice little, little tight knot. I take my finger and I put in the loop. And I go forward and watch what happens. I let the thing roll back over the line. Dump, it rolled back right over it. And now that's a tight knot. I'm going to take this tag end and make a single overhand loop knot right there on that leg. Do a single overhand loop knot in this leg. Dump, right there. Dump, dump, dump. And then I'm going to take it off my foot. Take it off my foot. And now I have a single overhand knot on each 
of the legs, I'm going to go around and do a triple deal. See, I'm going to make a loop, and I'm just going to do a triple overhand knot. That's that's one, pull it through there, two, three, pull it through there. Okay. Now it's just I'm just going to pull it up tight, pull it up tight until it's just all ready to go. Pull it up tight and pull it tight with my teeth. Right there. Okay. That's it. That's all you really have to do for for a bimini twist. I have a lot. Okay. Now I'm going to take a, a, a knife. This okay. Nice knife. Curl. Curl flush. Okay. Now, if you really want to keep that thing integrity, really the right thing, you've seen me use super glue. You heard me tell a story about how I fixed Mel Tillis' tooth with the super glue before the big concert. Okay. So this super glue is something I carry all the time. I carry it to church. I carry it fishing. I carry it hunting. I carry super glue all the time. And I use it on a knot. I use it on all sorts of knots. But it's a perfect complement for this bimini twist knot. I take the super glue out, doom, 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 and I take a little dab right here, just a little dab of super glue right there, doom, doom. just kind of roll it in. Now that secures the tag end. Okay, at this point, <laughs> this is real heavy line, you understand, this 130 pounds. That's 260 pound test line right there. I can tie it on anything I want. A lot of times in salt water, we'll tie this line on a big, a big uh, like we're using floor, we might be using braid, and I'll, I'll tie the bimini test on braid. And many times we'll take and tie a leader of, of a fluorocarbon leader, a light leader, whatever, we're fishing for snook, we're fishing for tarpon, we're fishing for all sorts of saltwater fish. So we use a, a leader. But in, in fresh water, here's what I do. So often I'm tying this on fluorocarbon or I'm tying it on monofilament, like I just showed you with this 14 pound XL. That's a perfect complement for 14. It makes it a 28 pound test double line. Now, when you do monofilament and fluorocarbon, it twists it. Well, actually, see, the braid doesn't twist, but, well, it does twist, but when you tie it with fluorocarbon, it twists. And it all this is twisted right here as well. And it's just a perfect thing to tie onto, say, uh, 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 the devil's horse deal. I could tie it to the front end of a devil's horse. I could tie it to, uh, to any kind of jig. It, you know, it, it doesn't make any difference what you're tying it to. It doubles the line. This is a leader. And it's in freshwater, a lot of times when you're using a light line and you, and, and you have six or eight or ten pound line, you really need a leader at some point because now you have double line straight and a hundred percent knot. See, normally if you were just, if you just had six pound line, you'd be tied to a lure, you won't have a hundred percent line. So you won't have six pound strength, you'll only have five and a half pound strength. Now, I have over six pound strength because I'm telling you, the line is not going to break at the knot. I showed you that. I've won thousands of dollars in betting people. For 40 years I've tied this knot. I've, I've won so much money betting that the knot won't break. I've made a lot of money showing that it's 100% strong. It doesn't break at the knot. When you tie that right, it will not break there. It breaks somewhere in the line. So that's, that's an invaluable source of information. If you want to tie a knot that's 100%, so often when you're using the light line, you need that extra strength. And when you do saltwater fishing, all the saltwater people will tell you to tie a proper leader, you need that bimini twist knot to, as a base to tie into the main line. That is so, so important. So in all your tournament fishing, I've done a lot of tarpon fishing, I've done a lot of saltwater uh, tournament fishing with marlin and stuff, we're always using the bimini twist knot. It is 100% the strongest knot on the planet, and I showed you how to tie it. Thanks for watching. Hey, you guys are, and girls are subscribing so well. I just I just love doing these YouTubes, and I'm an expert at tying this bimini twist. 
I can tie it in 17 seconds if I really want to, really, really, really fast. But it takes a while, but you have to learn how to do that twist. You have to learn how to put your finger in that loop and pull it forward and back it down. Do those, those little uh, loops on the, on, the, on, the, on the line. Hey, you got it. Okay. Thanks for watching.